Hello Capricorn, welcome to your March reading. I am back, like for real, for real back. I am excited. Thank you for watching. I'm glad you're subscribed. If this is your first time, hi, you know, hello, welcome to your March reading. Stick around, um, you know, and just thank you and everything else just for being around, shit, rocking with me, you know. It's hard out here finding people who have stick to um, you know, so thanks for not leaving your girl in the lurch. Um, with that being said, I do want to say welcome to your March reading. I know it's a little late, but, you know, I'll be able to record more often. So hopefully it's the last time I take this off. All right. So this month I'm using the Halloween Oracle. And if you're like, why, girl? Because I like Halloween. Shit, I felt cute. But I use a Halloween Oracle. Uh, it just felt like it was going to hit. So um, I'm going to actually post the decks that I use in the description box. Because why? Why go through all the explanation? And this is going to be your monthly. Um, again, I'm going to be posting more stuff. If you have feedback, comments, um, if you'd like to, I don't know, suggest something that you want to see, let me know. Um, yeah, you feel me? Yeah, I decided to switch up the hair a little bit. A little different, a little different. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's it. I'm sorry, I got so lost on that one. Okay, so as always, I'm still going to do that tarot card that I always do for the month. Um, and let's see what yours is. So this is going to be like, I almost want to say like the theme or just something you've been working on. Um, it may come up. It may just be like an overarching thing. And then we'll go from there. I feel like I'm on like a really rusty ass bike trying to ride it. So I'm sorry. Um, ooh. Okay. Four Pinnacles. Hmm. Huh. I don't want to say you're being withholding. I guess standing your ground. Maybe it's financially. Like if you're supposed to be investing in something, whether it be like a partnership or like a um, uh, this I doesn't feel like a business. It might be a relationship type of thing, <clears throat> but it is standing your ground. It's like I don't know. Maybe boo on money. It might actually be a money thing. Like maybe someone wants you to invest like time or money or effort into some shit. And you're kind of like, eh. So the thing might be, how much am I willing to invest? How much am I willing to invest? All right. Oh no, that doesn't fit there. Sorry, I have one card that came out. Oh, someone, ooh. Someone might be pocket watching you. That's what that is. That's what that is. Someone may be trying to pocket watch you and they'd be maybe doing that shit under the guise of asking for your financial advice or whatever, some shit. Watch their ass. That's why I said this don't work. This doesn't make sense. Um, look at this little page of swords. It fools up to some shit. And the page of swords typically, like, they are, they can be a good spy, but they're learning how to, like, do something. So someone may be, like, trying to learn from you, but they also concerned about how much you got. Yeah, because I see the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. So they ask this person might, um, I'm not saying they're trying to steal. Maybe they're trying to get like you, but not in a, uh, oh shit, maybe they are trying to steal. Or, or you kick their ass out. Like maybe, maybe you, oh, they could be curious about some shit. Like let's say you, you invested in yourself, right? And they didn't want to help you. And for some reason, like now that they've seen all the shit you're doing, they might even see how much you don't want to deal with they ass. You might have rid yourself of them. Cause this card's come out twice. So if they're next, they might be trying to make their way back to you cause they can't hack this shit alone. Damn. Ooh. Well, you know, if there's anybody that people like to run back to, it's a damn Capricorn. I don't know what y'all be doing to people because not like that. It's just y'all are so, I get this now. That's why y'all be hard on them because y'all be taking motherfuckers back. That's, that's the tea. That's why y'all be so mean. And I think you never count the breakup as like time apart or no shit like that. So when people are like, oh, you guys been together for like six years, you're like, yeah, but like maybe y'all spent two of them years 
broke up or some shit. <laughs> oh God, that's not funny, but it's funny. Punish they ass. Um, sorry. Um, oh shit. So you learn, ooh, okay. Reasons why this is your thing. Okay, so in the past, you could have, it could also be a situation, let's say like, for, okay, I'm not joking. I'm not like messing around anymore. You know, I'm done with the silly shit. Um, let's say you are thinking about going back to a past situation and you're thinking about if you're going to invest in it. This could also be, because I've been thinking this a lot. I'm kind of getting this thought. Resuming a business endeavor or if it's not the same kind of business, it's like, like if you're like, oh, I work for myself. Maybe you're like getting back on the horse and trying that shit again. And I say that you got the chariot cart. So this is gonna be, and this is about like rapid movement. It could involve a cancer. I don't necessarily believe that though. I think what you might learn from this thing is that it's like, it's almost like if I invest properly, the shit's gonna move forward. I also think that if it was something where like, let's say you thought you wanted to give up on a business path or like a profession or something like that, it was because you were probably trapped in a shitty situation. So whether it be like a job, something that had you mentally, so it could be a job, it could be an actual relationship or something else. It could be a mix of like, to me that you, when you get too in your head about doing shit, you'll never do it. And so you gotta do it. And um, with the five of cups, this is a good one. And with the five of cups, you're just kind of like, look, it is what it is. Wait, cause this is the, yeah, this is the five of cups, right? Maybe like you were part of a trio before you're like, F this. Or like, like, leaving a situation where you can only put in parts of yourself or walking away with what bit of emotion you have left um, in order to move forward in this way. And I think it's because you know that it's the right thing to do with secrets and stuff like that. And look how like the high priestess is reading to this baby. But this is definitely about you. Maybe you learn from past experiences. Also just don't get, if it's like working for yourself or doing a certain thing or having a certain idea, you know, it's not, you ain't got to believe in yourself to get shit done, okay? You do not have to feel great about like saying, oh, I have to, go to law school. Oh, I have to do this program. Oh, I'm gonna have to work 12 hours a day doing this bullshit and trying to pay this off and do this. Like, no one likes that, but it's kind of like, I lost my train of thought for a second. The point is, I ain't gonna stop y'all ass from doing it, not a Capricorn. It's like all somebody has to say is no to you and you're like, I'm gonna do it. And you are like, dead ass gonna do that shit. You're like, and I'm gonna teach they ass a lesson. I don't know why they told me that I can't do Capricorns, man. I like you guys. Y'all funny. Y'all crack me up. Never want to cross y'all. Oh, okay. So if you're messing with the water sign too, because I get like the chariot and the king of cups, maybe this person is going to, or you guys are going to work together on uh, teaching each other how to be... how to collaborate away it's like it might it, ooh, it might be how to work with someone maybe the only way that like you can kind of like work on certain projects if you really love someone but not like love them love them like you have to love them but then kind of like respect how they do things you have to be wanting to learn from this person in order to do that shit Like, for some people, it's like, oh, like, if you were teaching someone, so it's like, and like, like martial arts stuff, it's always like, you got to be worthy of being taught. And you're like, no, 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 you got to be worthy of teaching me. With the King of Cups and the Chariot, it might, it might be about, um, love. It could also be someone teaching you how to drive. I don't know what the fuck. Hmm. I know you're like, what? That, okay, I'm sorry. These are just, that was just a whole ass random message. Cause like, I didn't even, um, I didn't even do it properly, but four pinnacles is gonna be your card for the month. Might be about investing in a relationship. So let me get into your oracle cards. 
the Halloween Oracle. Like I said, it felt cute. Thought I'd do Halloween. Um, okay. Okay, cool. So this might be about relationships. I kind of get that. Um, or it might just be something that really involves your feelings. It could like it could be a work thing. Like, let's say you're like it's a work endeavor because like Capricorns are real tight to the hard work that they put into shit, and so that can't be translated into relationships as well. So it's like they they don't just want to give up. I mean that's most people, but y'all y'all be like I'll put in this much effort into some shit and it's a lot. A goddamn spy is again. Someone might be waiting for the right opportunity. So we got forgiveness and reducing burden. Someone may have been watching. Someone may be watching or may have been watching how you do things, and they may be learning from you how to be more independent. Because that's you. Oh, it might also, it might also take, they, they could also be a fire sign. It might take this person a lot of strength to, to want to really like offer you something. And it, and like, it's so funny, right? Cause I got the Ace of Pentacles and we got the forgiveness card, which is a rose, or sorry, Magnolia, I think. Looks like a Magnolia. I don't know, shit. I don't know flowers that well, y'all. I'm by me saying maybe y'all ain't. Uh -huh. Um, forgiveness reducing burden oh someone could have cut off too because they thought they were stressing you out too much oh damn the real tea was that like they really were just oh also they could have dipped off because you were stressing them out too much and they felt like they couldn't stack up and not to say like you're a jerk or anything like that they could have just went i don't know i'm stupid <laughs> They might be powering up to want to reach out to you again. If it's not an actual love offering, it could just be to show that like, damn, like you taught me about life. You taught me about love for this. It could be you too. Maybe you slowly coming around to the idea you got to ask someone to forgive you for you being a jerk. I don't know your life. Oh, also too, you could be pressed about the shit. Okay, so the other thing is um, graveyard and it's unnecessary fear. Which, like, to go back to the Four of Pentacles, it could be, like, maybe you're withholding your response or you're withholding emotions or how you communicate with someone. Or, like, hell, some people withhold apologies because they be like, oh, my God, I fucked up. It's like, so what? You think they're going to kick your ass? It's like, is it a real apology? Do you ever apologize? Is it sincere? Okay, Capricorn. It's not for all y'all, and I don't normally think this shit. So, uh, someone, you engaged? Are you thinking about asking someone to marry you? Are they thinking about asking you to marry them? Or is it like moving in together or some shit? <laughs> You're like, what? Oh, you could have also thought that this was like, this shit was dead in the water. Like, let's say y'all got in a fight over something, maybe it was like important. Um, this is so love heavy, Capricorn. You get on my nerves with this shit. Work must be going well, if you're not worried about that. Um, not well, but it's doing what you wanted to do while you're figuring some other shit out. Lovers could be a Gemini, which like, you're like, oh my God, love me. Like, that shit don't always mean love. It could be a major decision or choice involving love or just a big life thing. It's like, if you're in the garden eating, listen to that snake, fuck. Um, sort of. I'm not about to get into theology. Anyway, but then I also got the fool and the two of cups. And I, to me, <laughs> that show ass is like real serious. Like, what are you doing with this person, Cap? Serious? Oh. What if you're resurrecting an old relationship with someone? Huh? Thought that shit was dead? Let's see. Oh, damn, maybe you cut them off so you could be more independent because, like, they were doing too much. And by doing too much, I mean not enough. 
but like maybe you were starting to like really truly worry about like dumb shit like what are they gonna do with their life what is it some dumb shit some shit that you don't need to be worried like i mean yeah be concerned but like you know why worry about someone if they're not even worried about their own personal safety or happiness like what the fuck like you stress because you like them you love them or whatever but like what the fuck Oh, damn, you might have got that shit on lock, too. They might have also been, like, really depressing you and making you feel... Oh, sometimes when people are stuck in their own situation, they make you feel like you're stuck in yours. They'll start to make you feel bad about your shit. You got to watch they ass. You might have been drinking too much as you were trying to keep up with them, too. Because it's like, I see seven of cups, temperance, five of cups. Or just engaging in bad habits either due to this person or with this person and like nah fuck that yeah you might oh you might even say yo i got my shit together i can't really be dealing with you like that and they're like no 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 wait 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 i'll be working on my shit too because i'm getting the chariot again and the hermit like damn Ooh, it might have been someone who just found out child ass is single might have given you cause to pause they might not have done anything due to immaturity oh damn okay wow okay so if it's a situation where you might be thinking about because it's like a lot of different things this could be anybody outcome wise so they just kind of flew out this way so this one person they may have uh, not made a move in the past because they were immature they may not have had their money together or they may not have even tried to understand what they want to give you or like that you know any of that shit that like to give with someone you have to actually be offering some shit to them whatever that is you might have learned how to be better off by yourself better off alone um but you know you could have been slowly making moves to like get back in like if you're not dating like let's say you broke up with this person you're like i'm gonna start dating if you're not actually dating um you probably like started to make moves to like do that to just move on a little slow but good thing about y'all is when you move on you moved on okay it's another reason why i could be brave y'all that shit's dead <sighs> lord you know don't be so mean when you say it. Oh, it could be you, you forgive them, but you still not taking their ass back. All right, so let's get into the tea leaf cards and then we'll be done with your reading, okay? Um, and Cap, I'll be back, I'll be back. I'll be posting more. Please give me feedback on what you wanna see. Um, I know the background's a little crazy looking right now, but hey, you know, I just moved in. And I just got the internet. And here I am back here, car hustling with y'all. Okay. Ooh, damn, not the ram and it's you. Well, not you're not a ram, but talks about being stubborn and stuff like that. Great fortune and time to go out and have fun with the grapes and the four leaf clover. Ooh. <laughs> oh, maybe this person is like, let's go have fun. And you're like, nah, I don't wanna have no fun because you're pissed about some shit. Or not even pissed, it's just like, why? Look, and I get like the club, which is someone's gonna try to make you do something against your will. But I feel like, okay, maybe this person is one of those people that helps you to ooh, have fun. You don't like that shit all the time. They could also be that they distract you. Hmm. I would just say if there's a blast from the past, there might be, a, you could be the hater, but I doubt it. Ooh. Um, I would think if this person is a terrible ex and your life is going great and everything is wonderful and shit, um, they may pop up as if they've changed and maybe they have a little bit, but like slowly but surely they may come through and try to fuck up uh, your friendships and everything you've worked so hard for. Hence the four of pentacles. Damn, that shit came full circle. You're like, mm, I ain't investing. That could be it. Or I'm just mostly saying stay woke on the shit. Yep. That was a clear one. That was a clear message. Oh, damn. Okay. They see you doing good. Uh... 
one or two things could be happening. You could be inheriting money from an older relative. It could be one thing. You could have a boss at work that's an asshole. Right? Ignore them. Um, you could have someone who was supportive in the past. I'm, it says older woman, but I don't really trust that. Could have been supportive. No, they're not supportive. Or maybe it's a situation where you had to win someone over. But based on this, it looks like whatever it is will go well. Mother-in-law, maybe. I mean, it don't have to be. It could be older sister or some shit, but... Or not even a woman, but you know what I mean. It's like someone's like a bitch. Like, you finally, like, won, the, won that hard-to-please person over. Damn, yeah, because bull and older woman came out again. They could be a Taurus. They could act like an old lady. Uh, well, hey, and if you got to make a cut or dip out or do something, you know what you need to do. You're a Capricorn, so go on and uh, make your plan. Stop acting like shit is going well if it's not. And if this person is, like, continuously driving a wedge into things and is, like, ruining your life or going to ruin... Not even ruin your life, because that takes a lot to ruin a Capricorn's life. They're trying to ruin your plans. You know, y'all get very search and destroy, so just get out of there. Especially if it's somebody mama, like, come on, shit, you're not gonna win up against somebody's mom. That's not always true, but it, it's more than that. Um, yeah, it's in the family, someone's older relative, so watch out for that. Um, also, too, they could be a bitch to cover up some type of pain. Anyway, that's all I got for you for the month of March, Capricorn, but I think that overall, you're pretty good. You're just like, yo, maybe you. The reason why you don't want to be with someone is because they got a weird ass family or something. I don't know. But I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye.